Welcome to this Tobacco University video. We're going to go over proper cannabis seedling care. If you're fortunate enough to get a small seedling, I want to help you understand what environmental conditions you need to have set up to increase the best odds of success of your seedling continuing to grow. All right, let's get into the video here. Well, first off, at emergence, remember emergence is where that seedling is just going to start to emerge from whatever substrate or media you're using. As soon as the seed emerges, it's important to ensure proper care to allow for continued plant development. At no point do you want to stunt that plant, and very early on can have very detrimental effects going for the long term. The same basic conditions of germination process can be initially maintained, but changes should be made gradually to ensure strong and quality seedlings produced as those plants start to age. Now, what temperature do you want to keep those seedlings at? Well, keeping plants slightly cooler than during the germination process is typically advised. And what I mean by slightly cooler, you're typically looking at that 68 to 77 degrees Fahrenheit or 20 to 25 degrees Celsius. Also, as is uh, typically the case during the dark or lights off period, the temperature can be decreased to around 65 degrees Fahrenheit or 18 degrees Celsius. Having this temperature drop can help reduce internode spacing or stretching and keep the plant stocky and not leggy, weak, and thin. So a cool off during the nighttime or lights off period can be advantageous. You don't always have to keep them at a really high temperature. Now the relative humidity that you want to be having your plants under, typically as the plants grows, the humidity levels will be decreased over time, eventually reaching that target of that 60-65% relative humidity. This reduces the water stress on the plant and allows time for the root system to become more robust, and that's going to help you in the long run produce a healthy stocky seedling. From the uh, very tip of fan leaves, if that's burning, then it's likely because of lack of humidity or temperature or light stress. So that can be an indication. If you're starting to see at the very end of your fan leaves a little burning there, that could be an indication that there's either too low humidity, temperature is too high, or there's too intense light on your little seedling. When speaking specifically about light, the intensity of light should be increased as the seedling develops to match the levels it will be exposed to in the main growing environment. Some of your seedlings might be going outdoors, and if they're going outdoors, then light exposure should be increased to natural sunlight levels. Um, shade netting is commonly used of different percentages to ease the transition of the seedlings to the intensity of natural light levels that they will be exposed to. However, if you're growing indoors, the light exposure should be increased to the chosen par level for the veg rooms. You're working those plants, hardening them off so you don't get any light burn in the later stages. This can be done typically by dimming the lights, if that's an option with the lights you're using, or by adjusting, decreasing the distance between the lights and the plants to alter the intensity that those um, plants will be exposed to, again, over time to help ease that transition process. Now, proper watering techniques. So when you've got your little seedlings, a fine nozzle should be used and kept inverted to allow for natural rain, a fall-like impact on the seedlings. Or if you're using a very fine uh, nozzle, you can point in the right direction. But the key part there is to uh, reduce the impact of that water on those seedlings. You always want to keep your nozzle moving to ensure seedlings get expo exposure and the tray can hold some water reserves to avoid seedling de desiccation or drying out. Now, it's hard to kind of explain this, so here I'm going to transition to a video. It's going to show you the proper watering technique for newly emerged cannabis seedlings, and hope you enjoy it. All right, so here we're seeing a bunch of cannabis seedlings. Now, if you look closely at the trays, the center of each tray you'll see an oasis cube missing, and that's done on purpose. This is so the person doing the irrigating can keep an idea of just how much water is actually saturating or in that tray. You also notice the technique here where the spray is being kept very close to the seedlings and moving around making sure to get the corners as well as the center portions. Usually it's the corners that dry out first. It's called the edge effect. So we want to be mindful of avoiding that. You can see our way working right through. Again, it's a pretty fine nozzle there and just working way back and forth, back and forth. We can also see in the background how many seedlings this is. So this can be a way to ensure they all get the proper amount of water.